the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, The Taming of Dynamite. You're back. If we're beginning to get a little worried about you. Good heavens, man, what happened to you? If you must know, sir, that wretched mule unseated me. Tossed you, huh? Well, if you mean did she discard me, sir, she did. Well, I'm surprised at you, Perkins, an old mule skinner like you. If I may say so, sir, I was a trifle surprised myself when I landed in that briar patch. She was just teasing you, Perkins. Well, I'm afraid, sir, Daisy doesn't understand the meaning of the expression fair play. Well, I hate to be unsympathetic, Perkins, but if you think you've got troubles, come with us. I say, what a ghastly mess. Look at the kitchen. Oh, dear. Was anybody hurt, sir? No, fortunately, there was no one in it. Well, thank heaven for that. It's been quite a day, Perkins. I'm afraid there's only one thing left for us to do. What's that, sir? Go in the kitchen and drown our sorrows in a cup of coffee. Oh, thank you, sir. I really could do with a spot of something. Rather, after you, sir. Gee, Polo. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Yeah, we fouled you up, and that's for sure. Uh, you guys didn't mean to do it, did you? Gosh, no. I just started the motor to see how it would sound, and I pressed that button, and when... Anyway, it went. And we ran after it, and the first thing you know, it was coming right at us. And then it started chasing us. Ah, oh, forget it, gang. We got plenty of other things to worry about. I'll say. Darn old stove. Well, maybe we can get a job of riding herd with some cow outfit. Oh, sure. Fine bunch of cow pokes we'd make. Well, how about Moochie's rabbits? We could sell them. They made snappy fur coats. Two measly rabbits? Pat and Mike. Pat and Mike? Oh, my gosh, I forgot to feed them. They must be starved by now. Gee, I'm awful sorry about you guys, but... What's the matter? What's with you? Look. Holy jumping catfish. Oh, brother. That's just what we need around here. A gang of rabbits. We better not tell Mr. Logan about this. He's mad enough already about that car. I'll say he's madder than a centipede with corns. Oh, who could be mad at those cute little bunnies? It's their fault that the car ran away. Oh. Well, it looks like a valley cyclone struck it, eh, what? You're bunny right, Mr. Perkins. Young kids do bunny good job, eh, what? Right you are. As Mr. Logan so quaintly put it, they practically wrecked the joint. <laughs> I say, Sam, how are we ever going to cook on this? <laughs> me fix, me fix. Oh, me really? Fix. Sam, old boy, you really are an optimist. <laughs> I wish Master Martin would stay away from that dreadful horse. I don't know what's come over the lad. He's positively wacky over that beast. Young Master Martin, plenty smart with horses. Make him plenty fine cowboy.
come on, Dynamite, quit acting up. You're just being silly. You know you like it here. You used to get pretty lonesome out there in the range all by yourself, remember? <coughs> You're always coming in here and hanging around the other saddle horses. Now quit sulking and behave yourself. <laughs> All right, go ahead and fight. Get it out of your system. on your mind? Well, um, well... Something wrong? Oh, no, sir. It's just that... Could you let me give Dynamite a little workout? Workout? You mean break him? Oh, no, not that exactly. Just sort of take a few of the rough edges off him. Well, I don't know, Marty. You're a pretty young fellow, and he's a pretty wild horse. Oh, he's just a little upset on account of losing his freedom. Well, who wouldn't be? Naturally, he's gonna put up a scrap, but... Well, I'm not afraid of him, and I think I can quiet him down. Well, breaking a wild horse is no job for a boy. It takes an experienced wrangler. And this one's a lot wilder than most of them, if he's not plumb loco. Oh, he's not loco, Mr. Logan. Just young and full of mischief. Mischief, huh? Well, Bill says he's not much more than a colt. That's why he's so wild. But he can be trained. I know he can. And you're just a young fellow that can do it, huh? Well, you know, I sort of figure... Horses are like people. If they know you like them, well, they like you back. Mm -hmm. And if they know you're not afraid of them, why, well, they don't try and bluff you. You're pretty convincing. You should be a lawyer. Then you let me have a try at him? I didn't say that. I said you presented a good case. Suppose I let Hank uh, help. No, no, Mr. Logan. I don't want any help. Honest, I don't. Dynamite and I can work things out better by ourselves. Well, perhaps you could, but I'm responsible for you boys, and I can't take a chance on you getting hurt. Oh, I won't get hurt, Mr. Logan. I'll be real careful. What would your grandmother say? Oh, well, she'll go into a tailspin, all right, but... Well, look what happened the first time I rode a horse, and when I broke my arm. She hit the ceiling. But after it was all over, she didn't mind a bit. Remember? Remember? How could I ever forget? Then you will? No. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll talk it over with Bill and see what he says. Thanks, Mr. Logan. Thanks a lot. Marty. Yeah? I didn't say yes. Yeah, but you didn't say no. I must say, Sam, this salad does look rather tasty. Well, uh, all the same rabbit food. And very healthful, too. Rabbit's plenty healthy. Pretty soon make plenty of rabbit stew. Oh, Sam, you're getting to be quite a wit, you know. <laughs> Yippee, Marty's gonna bust dynamite. Oh, Come no. on, fellas. What's the matter now? Master Martin, he's going to have a go at that beastly stallion. I think maybe shoe on other hoof. I beg your pardon? I think maybe stallion have a go at him. Sam, I wish you wouldn't say such things. Master Martin is a very fine young gentleman, and I'd be most distressed if any harm came to him. I'd better go and help him. <laughs> What's so amusing? You make him like Bronco Buster. <laughs> He'll kill you. I'm afraid you're right, Sam. Beastly animal dislikes me thoroughly. Oh, dear, I should have got in touch with his grandmama. What am I going to do? Don't do nothing. You help me fix lunch. I think you're right at that, Sam. If I don't see what's going on, I won't have to report anything to his grandmama. I hope we're not making a mistake letting him tang with that roughneck. Oh, don't worry. Marty's got away with horses. Yeah, but he's different than other horses. He's as wild as he come, and he's mad as a hornet at being penned up. He'll be all right. 
Hank and I'll see to it he doesn't get out of hand. Uh -huh. We sure are gonna have some fun. This isn't exactly gonna be a picnic, Mooch. Don't tell me you're scared all the time. Well, I'm not gonna go up and spit in his eye. I bet you I could train him. You stay out of this, you hear me? Oh, gee, I never get to do nothing. Next episode, Dynamite Strikes Back. <laughs>